Hey guys, welcome to another WYS by Adam Blast. <laughs> Today I'm going to be doing something different. I'm going to be testing the swimming feature, the swimming activity mode on the Mi Band 6. Let's see how this thing is going to fare in this test. As you can see, this is a large swimming pool. It's not exactly an Olympic sized swimming pool, but it'll do for today's testing purposes. So I'm going to be going for four laps in this pool. Let's see if the fitness tracker can detect that. And without further ado, let's do this. So since I didn't get my goggles with me to the pool, I'm going to keep my head above the water while I'm swimming. So it's not exactly the best type of swimming. I'm not a perfect swimmer, but let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to activate the feature again on the watch, on the fitness tracker. First thing we're going to do is to activate the swimming feature on the fitness tracker. So let's go ahead and do that. Workout and go to swimming, pool swimming. So tap go. And it says here that the lock screen will be enabled automatically when swimming to prevent from accidentally touching and unlocking the screen. So it's going to start pretty soon. Cool. Let's do this now. Let's do this. That was two laps. Woo. Ah. Let me catch my breath. And that's it. That's four laps. I'm gonna stop the fitness tracker now. And here are the results. We've got three minutes, total laps two. Oh yeah, that's considered a lap. Going, coming back is a lap. Pace, that's my pace. Strokes, 68. Calories burned, 32. Swath index, average SPM, 22 minutes, 22 per minute. The maximum SPM is 33 per minute. And the average DPS, is one. This little piece of tech is not only affordable, but it's also very durable. And it continues to amaze me how something that costs a fraction of the price of other premium smartwatches and fitness trackers can do so much on your wrist. In fact, I'm not giving up on this. I'm still using it along with my Galaxy Watch. It works pretty well. It detected the number of laps, which is two. I actually made a mistake when I said it was four laps. Going and coming back, that's just one lap. The, the fitness tracker correctly detected that. It was two laps, and it mentioned how many strokes, how many calories burned, along with other data. Now, if you compare this with more high-end fitness trackers or watches like the Galaxy Watch right here, or the Apple Watch, in my humble opinion, I think that the Mi Band 6 is more durable, especially underwater, because it doesn't have speakers like this thing does. You can see the Galaxy Watch has speakers and although there's a function on this watch to push out the speakers, uh, to push out the water, if you use it on water, I don't think it's gonna be as durable as this. I don't use this in water or for sports activities for that matter. I like to use the Mi Band 6 instead and I like to use this for notifications and for health purposes like measuring my heartbeat and for taking blood pressure and things like that. And with a new Galaxy Watch, you can also measure things like your fat percentage. But for this, I just love it. It's very practical, it's very durable. This is perhaps the most durable fitness tracker in my opinion. Um, it's sweat resistant, water resistant. By the way, this is 50 meter water resistant. So you can easily use this in the water like I showed you and it's not going to break a sweat. And even if this thing is broken or stops responding, you're not going to be crying because this thing costs a fraction of this. Now, I'm not saying that this is not good. Actually, this is one of the best wearables out there. But when it comes to durability and practicality, I like to wear this for my sports activities. 
and this too at the same time for other features like answering calls and taking my health measurements and viewing notifications and even playing music. So that's about it guys. That was my opinion and that was the test for the Mi Band 6. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, give it a like. And if you really like this video, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in the next one.